your desire. Everyone has been created with a desire. Are you there? Yeah. The Lord must speak about this word, desire. Let me pray. Five minutes, ten minutes, we pray. Desire. We all have a desire. It is how God made men. He created men to have a desire. Are you there? Yeah. And that desire is rooted deep down in your soul. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have that desire. We all have desires. That's why it's in Bible. God will give you what your heart. Uh, what your heart. So we all have desires. But now it is up to us how do we channel those desires to the Lord. Are you there? Amen. Check here. It says the unmarried, everything he does is to please. He desires to please the Lord. Are you there? Amen. That is the unmarried. Desiring to please. How can I make God happy? Those are unmarried. But the married, the desire is divided. How can I please my wife or my husband? But I'm also, how can I please God? God wants to have our full attention. You know, when I went to the school, I was taken to in the spirit. They said to me, prophets must focus. Focus. Let's read the scripture. I will understand. This I say for your own profit. Not that I may put a leash on you, but for what is proper, that you may serve the Lord without distraction. Oma Paza Misegi without distraction. It's in other version, they'll say what? With yes, undivided devotion to the Lord. So a person who is married, his devotion is divided. You can be praying on the mountain. God tells you, oh, your wife needs you now. And you should. Because that's what they are looking for. They chose to have their attention divided. Sometimes can be, I'm telling you, you can be praying and God will tell you, stop now, go to your family. Because your attention is divided. You can't say, I will just go spend the entire two nights uh, somewhere in a retreat praying. Other ones say, but on that day I need you. Can you please me? Like Paul says, you live to please the spouse. Ah, we are already had planned a dinner. I mean, I choose God. No. When you married, the day you married, you chose to please both God and the spouse. A choice was already made. But if you are married, you have a privilege of having undivided attention. Mm -hmm. It's a privilege. You see that? These are benefits that you have. You can just pray anytime you wake up. Not to see a boy in pity. Lavi, where were you? I was, I was looking for you. I was searching for you. You know, all those things, you are free from them. And some of you, yeah. you, are, you, sleep, you share the bed. You have already been married, but already you are sleeping with someone in your cell bed. Not married. Opposed to Obumabi. He shall not marry it. So here he says, so that you may serve the Lord without distraction. So that you will be able to focus only unto the Lord, nothing else. Having your devotion undivided to the Lord. Are you there, Bazan? I want us to pray. The Lord said to me, Tell them this. Number one, we all have desires. Are you hearing that? A desire was created by God. But if a desire is unoccupied by the Lord, are you hearing that? If the desire is unoccupied by the Lord, the enemy will take, make use of that desire. You will find yourself doing certain things to fulfill the pleasure or to meet the demand of that desire. I don't know if you're hearing this. Are you hearing this? Some people, they struggle with loneliness. I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Especially if you have been into a relationship before and now you are alone. Instead of just talking. Now, you are likely to find yourself because you have given yourself a memory. We spoke about that, right? There's already, you have already created a space that you always need to have someone in your life. Huh? So now, if you are alone, there will be that void. Are you hearing that? 
Also, there's deep down, there's this void. I just want someone who will tell me, I love you, aren't it? Someone who just send a message. Someone will, you see that? But somebody got that. But still, you still search for that. It's because deep down there's a desire. Listen to me. Listen to this. When God created a man, he created a man with a deep need for a relationship. Are you hearing that? When a person is about to die, he does not need, need cars around his bed. He does not need money around his bed. He needs people. Are you there? I'm telling you, I have a mood message of her. I'm about to die. Please bring my cars. Just let the, the cars just be around here. No. What you are looking for is a help. What you are looking for is doctors. What you are looking for is relationship. So deep down in a person's soul, there is a need for another person. It was God who created a man like that. He looked at Adam and said, it is not good for a man to be alone. So, you as a man, it is not good that you will be alone. There is a deep desire that you will need to have people around you. So, and that desire, check here, we are about to pray. And that desire, if it is not surrendered to the Lord, it will be occupied by wrong people. You will find yourself at night in the dreams, you are having sexual dreams. You will find, you know, one day I spoke to someone. I saw a vision. I spoke to Prophet Gideon about this long time ago. I saw in a vision. This guy, he was walking like this. Listen to me. Excuse me. But I'm about to say, it's what I saw in a vision. Uhamba saw. But I kept seeing his seed, his sperms. They were going out to ladies, but he's going. I said to them, how can a person be walking like this and yet he's distributing his seed all over? The Lord said to me, it is because of what? He's thinking. The word curse there, I said, the word curse and please is so deep. The word curse that when the Bible says that an unmarried curse, it means you are in deep thinking for the Lord, towards the Lord. So I said, listen to me, I said, how possible can a man be walking in the street, not physically there, but yet, all his seed is being given away. And the Lord, I said to the Lord, and the Lord just said to me, after that vision, he said to me, don't you know the scripture that says, he who desires a woman, the word lust is to desire, it's the same word. He who lusts after a woman is already slept with her. I said, but I didn't know it to that level. Then just by thinking, I have already spent my energy which was supposed to be preserved and been given unto the Lord. Many of us, we can think that we are holy, but we are not holy because our cares, our thinking is you are already united, you are one with someone by your thoughts. The cares of the unmarried is simple. How to please the Lord. How can I make God happy? But the cares, the thinking, the deep thoughts of those who are married, Sometimes you can sit down and say, I don't even have money, and it will be so much stress. So, when I asked God about that vision, I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this vision? He said to me, this is what happens. People, listen to me. He said, that is how many people spend their desire. You know that you can spend your desire. You know you can spend your desire. If you are given, you know that you we are given different talents. Eh? One is given ten. One is given two, one is given one. Imagine if you are given ten or you are given five and now you spend one there. You spend one. And you go for that interview, you get there, you find yourself, they are asking you questions you don't know how to answer. You were sleeping with people on the road to the interview. You spent everything that you had. You were, you were sending out what was supposed to be used at the interview has been spent. Get there, they ask you, you are by you don't know how to answer. Let me tell you this, we are about to pray. Most of you, you empower your enemy. You, you empower your enemy. You know, how, how, you know how Israel was destroyed? Numbers, I think 20, 20, 25. Go read. Numbers 25. The Bible says, when they could not fight and defeat Israel, Balaam said this, he said, the only way I know you will defeat them, sleep with them. Sleep. Uh, sleep with them, you will defeat them. Send your women, let them, let them sleep, they will defeat them. And the Bible says, 
after every attempt to defeat them, when they slept with them. Many of us, we sleep with our enemy. You know, you sleep with your enemy. You know, the enemy, you always say, in the name of Jesus, you demon, you are fighting my finances. Ouch! Ouch! And it becomes that demon, it enters someone. So, how are you, baby? <laughs> But it is the same demon. You'll be struggling now. Ah, do you feel like I can't pray? How can two who agree, how can you find someone you're in covenant with? So, this is what I'm telling you. Well, that, that preaching. Preserve your womb, your ovaries. Preserve your seed, your sperm. You know? Okay, so I said that man kids here. Yeah. Listen. And you know that the seed of a man is spiritual. It is not spiritual physical. You know this thing of people would use protections and all that nonsense, 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 nonsense. But your seed is spiritual. If someone can take it out of your thinking, yeah, I told you about the vision I had on it of someone who was busy distributing, and it. If someone can take it just by your thought. So don't tell me about being intimate with that person. It is spiritual. It can be taken away. You can say, I, I use protection. I, I draw it. Or what, 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 what? No, they've taken it. You have empowered the enemy. You have empowered the enemy. Your desire must be channeled unto the Lord. How? You're asking how? Want, you tell, want me to tell you how? I'll tell you how. I'm not going to deep in details, but what I'll tell you is how. You know when you feel lonely and you feel like your, your sexual desire is high? I mean, during that time, just take the Bible, start to Lord, say, Lord, I give you my heart desire. I give you my heart. I, I just want more of you. I want more of your presence. I want more of you you will start to experience so much presence of God because your, that desire is not meant for a person. It is meant for God. If it is unoccupied, it, Satan will make use of it. That is how. And I just told you a secret. But I still, you, will still, you will still fall in the same trap. Though I've just given you a key. You heard what I said? You see that desire when you feel lonely? You feel like someone has called you. Someone... I'm telling you, that is how great people have made it up there. They channeled part of their weakness and they use it unto the Lord. You must benefit from your desire. Amen. Channel your desire to the Lord. If you are feeling burning, with a burning passion that Paul speaks about there, he spoke about it. That burning passion, you sit down, say, Lord. I give you my heart. You will realize after 30 minutes, you will no longer feel that feeling. That feeling of loneliness will be gone. That feeling that I need a woman, I need a man, will be gone. You will be feeling the presence of God and you will be rejoicing. It must be channeled unto the Lord. Amen. You must fight to please the Lord. I think I'm done. I believe that we had a fruitful service. Was it fruitful? Yeah. Did you learn something? Yeah. Give me the mark. Let me hear.